18 mil. Let me know if I start playing horror games. Why Corey Kenshin keeps leaving YouTube? Damn, Corey Kenshin, y'all, that guy's actually an old OG. Over the years, Corey Kenshin has built a reputation of not only being one of the biggest gaming channels on YouTube with a sub count of over 17 million subscribers, he's also been known for his frequent hiatuses from the platform, where he Damn. would abruptly stop uploading for months on end, with more often than not complete radio silence on all of his social medias. I am curious why he keeps on leaving. Speculate about what he is up to and when he will inevitably return. So uh -huh. why does a YouTuber like Corey Kenshin, with such a big fan base, decide to do this? And more importantly, how has he managed to stay relevant and maintain his viewership when so many others in his genre would quickly be forgotten Damn. about the moment they stop uploading? Now I think about it, yo, Corey Kench is actually like a playbook cardio of YouTube gaming. This guy will pull numbers on numbers and have like a cult following, but they'll just disappear for however long. It's like that one bitch you like, you smash and you just give her that good dick and actually obsessed with you and be like chill 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 and she's just craving for it and they come back and give it to her again and she, it's like worth the wait that, that's the weirdest analogy i just did but guess what that's the only way you're gonna get decided to go all the way back to when he first started uploading content back in 2009 almost 15 years ago 2009 and to put that in perspective 14 years ago that was when my youngest sister was born and i was six years old in 2009 don't question what this guy got going on what you would expect from that time period skits and vlogs typically filmed on a low quality webcam with pretty minimal editing Corey would upload Damn. This style of content on and off this with pretty minimal results with a couple of well performing videos here and yeah so we're not gonna talk about bros a haircut this nigga was a black barbie literally For the most part he would not really see any major success with this style of content which is the main reason why on september 30th 2011 Corey would post his final video before a two-year hiatus from the platform fuck Corey can't just so heavy but god look at these old looks man look at that hat and the justin bieber type of hair what's going on blow dry you like you need to know we're black the second you put a bonnet your hair is messed up it's like you take a shower your hair is back to be not what is this look and something that will be important for later in the video when Corey came back to youtube in 2013 he began to upload his first few gameplay videos more specifically horror gameplays something yeah. that was growing in popularity on youtube at the time this was also around the time his channel started to gain momentum but there was one game in particular that would push his channel's growth to new heights. We're gonna talk about three people who come to mind when I think of this game. Markiplier, Game Theory, and Corey Kenshin. These guys are like the pioneers of FNAF. Like, it's actually crazy. Speak of FNAF, the new movie, which is so, like, trash in my opinion. Game Theory and Corey Kenshin were in the movie. That just goes to show that their name holds weight when it comes to this game. Popularity at the time, and the amount of YouTube Let's Players that were playing the game and displaying it to their audience were only adding fuel to the fire. So combine the fact mm -hmm. that you're already known for being a horror gameplay YouTuber, and a game that's rapidly growing in popularity in your own niche that you're well known for, and you have the recipe for a viral video video and yeah. this series would prove to be widely successful for Corey as they would gain millions of views two years 18 mil yeah this guy's a goat hell let me know if i start playing horror games let me know honestly i would but i love my life and if i were to play a horror game my heart would probably stop yeah, maybe i'll do it maybe i'll do it but yo tap into the stream maybe i'll do it and gain him a ton of new subscribers and from that point on Corey would remain consistent with his upload schedule usually posting every day this would lead his channel to reach 100,000 subscribers by late 2015 i was grade six back then holy fuck 100k back in 2015 yeah he's a go bro his channel would start growing even more rapidly about six months later he hit 500,000 subscribers and then he closed out 2016 with a million this, this is humbling only they can gain a 900k from one year 2015 to 2016 channel only got more more popular with every single passing year. However, it's important to note that during this time period, Corey would become notorious for his breaks from YouTube. He would have a hot streak where he would upload daily and then seemingly disappear for months on end with usually no updates on any of his social media platforms, leading fans to guess about when he would come back. Then at random, he would go right back to uploading and the cycle would just continue. Well, it might be a mental thing, right? You know, maybe he doesn't want to burn out because at the end of the day, like people just really care about your content and they don't really care about your well being. I feel like people can't expect so much from a person. Like, I know you give this nigga his career and stuff, but at the end, he's, he's a person, he's human, he's still giving you content, and he's still putting years and years and years to this game, right? So, at the end, of the day, I guess we should be more lenient to his decisions. For reasons for each one, I think it's pretty safe to assume that creative burnout was a major factor in this. Now, Facts. usually, when a YouTube channel starts growing rapidly, the next step for that YouTuber would be to hire an editor to handle all the video editing work that goes into a video so that the YouTuber would have more time for different things 
things like recording more content or handling merch drops or sponsorships. Yeah, but doesn't Corey edit his own videos? Kenshin was a rare exception to this because even as his channel grew and the demand for more consistent high quality content increased, he never hired an editor. He always did everything yeah. himself and his reasoning behind this decision, according to him, is because he- Before he answers that, I believe that, yeah, if you edit your own videos, you have your own creative vision. If you get an editor, realistically, they're editing through their own vision. And yes, you can make notes and you can send it to them, but honestly, it's always the best in your mind rather than you writing on paper and giving us to someone else. First, his own style of editing and actually enjoys doing it too. Fair reason, as it gives him complete control of how his videos are going to look. Exactly. But the downside to this is that there is a lot of editing that goes into each of Corey's videos, which can be very time consuming to do and stressful when taking into account the fact that he usually uploads daily when he's not on break. Bro, I just started editing my own videos and holy, it does catch up to me. It's so weird because I just grew up on YouTube and I grew up on the side that I'm just watching. You know, I, I never really like gave a fuck about the, the content side. Like, I'm not really like empathizing with people who bust their ass for it. Bro, it is a hustle. Like, it is actually a grind. Now, my personal opinion, if something is your job and it's how you make your money, then leaving for half a year just because you're a bit tired of the content grind doesn't really make too much sense. Yeah, but this is Corey Kenshin. You see them views? This nigga's good already. Like, there's probably a reason why this nigga start taking big breaks. Nigga still getting him checks. Corey knows he can get away with leaving YouTube because he knows his viewers will wait for his his return. This is because Corey Kenshin is pretty much immune to becoming irrelevant, and this is for a few reasons. Viewers will see that he hasn't uploaded in a while, and just assume he's on break and will return just like he has every single time. These hiatuses have unintentionally built a cult-like fan base of people who are always left wanting more from him, and they never know when he's gonna come back either because he just doesn't update his fans when he's gone. It's actually a psychology trick from the four. By the way, amazing book. You guys need to tap into that. Everything you need to know about life is four-day laws. But anyways, back. To I'm saying something that a lot of people don't like that he does actually helps for the video to do good, you know. Because then, then again, if you just think about a psychological thing, if you know your craft is good and you know millions of people are just gonna watch your shit, you know it's gonna do really good, and you're known for taking breaks, that means it's gonna crave for even more. And the second you drop a video, oh, it's like a tsunami rushing into that, and they're gonna even appreciate the videos you make after that just because they know you know, you're probably gonna leave again. Laws of power that rappers like Playboy Cardi have even used to their advantage. I swear to God, I did not watch. This video wallahi did not watch this video did i not compare this guy to play with card earlier you need to know look when you look at me call me a legend his content has a huge replayability factor videos that he uploaded years ago are still being discovered by people who have never watched him before they start binging his content and they eventually subscribe and then they wait until he posts a new video which is actually how he was able to reach 10 million subscribers without posting a single video in that time period the third reason is that he's honestly just Damn. too big to fail at this point Corey kenshin's fame has reached a point where he's become somewhat of a household name when it comes to youtube he is a household Whole name the niggas literally like the black markiplier and i don't go fuck you say, oh you're crazy <laughs> like i'm showing love and respect and fucking homage to a nigga that's been putting in pain for since i was not even 10 with him dashy these niggas are literal goats you people will pay so much respect to like lebron or like michael jordan but won't pay respect to lebron and michael jordan's of youtube my high school knew who Corey was so just imagine how popular he is for the younger generation and just how much of an impact he has on them i mean he just made a cameo in the new five nights of freddy's movie and we talked about that earlier him and game theory and those are pretty much the reasons why he can't really fall off at this point. At the time of this recording, it's already been over half a year since he last uploaded, yet he could probably upload a video tomorrow and it would probably go on the trending page with millions of views. So it looks mm, like he Corey Kenshin it. will most likely come back to the Corey, bro. Soon like, because he knows he like has heavy. a very loyal fan base that will always wait for him, no matter how long he's gone for. And he'll probably also take even more breaks after that if we're being completely honest here. But there's no doubt that when it comes to YouTube, Corey Kenshin is one of the most influential gaming creators out there and when it's all said and done and he eventually leaves for good he'll definitely be remembered for quite a long time that's facts but yo anyways yo let me know if you guys fuck with that video shout out to Corey Kenshin bro you know putting so many years into the game maybe a lot of people may not agree with you taking big breaks I feel like at the end of the day you're a grown-ass man to make your own choices and you're gonna have the loyal people stick with you through thick and thin but yo if you messed with the video let me know if you mess with me show love to the kid I'm keep pushing I'm keep it going but yeah we love my touch most times a week if you fuck with me show the love